It's recording. Hello. It's not oh. in focus. Okay, it's in focus now. <laughs> Let's just keep it rolling. Hello. <laughs> Stand right here. No, Ade. What? When you come around, face me because I'm supposed to be giving them a room tour. Oh, who's calling you? My mum. Oh, okay. Let's just okay. Let's do it again. It's recording now. Uh -uh. You're gonna edit out anyway. <laughs> Pardon me. Focusing? Yep. Yay! <laughs> Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here. As you can see by the title, we have finally got my room makeover. You guys don't know how long this has taken me. I thought I could do my room in like two weeks. Oh no, it's taken about a good four months. It's just, even longer than four months, if I'm being honest, because I've just stopped and started and stopped and started. Um, this is my beauty room, the room I film in, the room I do my makeup in. I'm going to run you through the whole process, how it looked like in the beginning, to how it looks like now. You guys are going to get a room tour in the end, and I'm going to try to explain everything while showing you bits and bobs of the vlogging experience with making my room. So, if you're interested and you want to watch, and you want to be nosy, you want to get some inspo, all of that stuff, please, please, please like this video, subscribe if you're new here and let's get straight into the makeover process. Yay, I'm so excited! <laughs> So in the beginning, um, this room was very much like a storage room. I didn't have enough storage, so a lot of the things are all over the place. I'm gonna insert a clip of what it realistically looked like on a day-to-day. -day. It can get really messy, really, really easy. Like I said, I had lack of storage, and the storage that I did have wasn't that useful and took up a lot of the space in the room. So that is that i'm gonna insert the clips yes it does not look pretty does not look cute but you know i tried to make it work i also insert pictures of when it did what it did look like when it was clean it was nice it was like a bit of a vibe i had painted the walls so the walls were already white um i hated my blinds and my radiator was just not white as well i was really lazy I wasn't even like lazy, I just wasn't really thinking about doing up the whole room as properly. I was more so just thinking about making it look nice for when I film. So then I'll also insert a bit of like a little video of what my room would look like when it's clean. Um, and you guys can just see the lack of storage in the video. So yeah, I literally had zero space, zero. Like it was nice or spacious because obviously I didn't have a bed in here, but it could do with some work. Sorry if you also hear my arm. I just burnt my arm. I had a hot comb. Bear in mind this whole thing gets really hot and I accidentally just, I think my hand has slipped and it just hit that. So I've had to put cling film just to make sure it doesn't like rub on my clothes or anything. But yeah. So the first thing I did was put clothes away that I wasn't wearing as much, giving them away. I, I did a lot of that when moving, um, moving my room just because I wanted to also kind of redo my wardrobe. I just kind of wanted to clear out everything. So I'm not a hoarder. I don't, I get rid of a lot of things. I get rid of clothes. I get rid of um, toxic people and makeup. I give away a lot of things. Unless it's really, really sentimental, it can go. Okay, it can go, it can be sold and I can make more money so I can buy more things, you know? So then once I got rid of the things I didn't want to keep anymore, it meant also buying new furniture. So um, I went on, I think, Wayfair, um, Made.com, oh, and also Amazon. I knew I wanted a desk because I needed a desk when filming. Using the space was also kind of like an office room, everything. So bought a desk, bought a shelf, and bought some storage for my room. So I'm going to insert me and Ade building everything. Thank, shout out to my boyfriend Ade. He really, really helped me. I, I couldn't build half of these things myself. Like a good 80% of things in this room I do either built or help built. So yeah, shout out. Shout out to you friend. <laughs> mm. I need a glass of water if we're gonna do this. 
Always, baby, you're impressing. Always, say no to the yes man. Oh, Whew. I've been to Yep. All right, B goes on the inside through and it slides into C. So that's C. This one's C. Come on. Can't wait to get the blinds done. Yeah. You know what I will say is, yeah, building things is good bonding experience with whoever you're building with, whether it's friend, parent, family, uh, housemates, whoever. It's a good bonding experience because it's actually teamwork and leadership skills, all of those things. Proclaiming that there was a virus coming, so, uh, it would it wouldn't be uh, what do you say? It wouldn't be. So it wouldn't be a, a war, it would be... They were going to be the United States. Give a... Give a... Give a... Give a... Give a... Give a... It was actually quite fun, I liked doing that. It was quite fun, I had the music going, just created a nice vibe and just built, you know, and enjoyed each other's company. You can even do it with yourself, like, there was times I was building things by myself and I, I liked it. It was just nice putting things together and watching it get bigger. But anyway. Honey plays in the day, put it every bitch inside of the face. And I got a hood and it run every day. Put money on the Oslo face. No rose gonna roll you up a picture, nothing new. I have put the trip off. Ask me how many niggas I decided to put on a pair of things by the side with the good off. I'm a boozy bitch, fuck a love. Why you watching on the flip? By the strap and playing gimmicks. That was done and then it was time to do my very yellow radiator which has been on my mind for like a, like a year. I've had the pot, like the paint pot for radiators, metals, for a year so I was so excited to paint this and it was really nice. Like I said, vibes, create a vibe, make it enjoyable when you're doing these things so you can keep going. Uh, the paint pot for about a year because you know when you're just stalling something for so long procrastinating procrastinating and then you just do it and it took me about 30 minutes it's like the simplest things be taking me ages sometimes to just get done it's 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 actually pathetic i need to get better at it oh. Basically, I have ordered, like obviously you guys already know I'm doing my room, but I want to install some new blinds. So I went on a website called Blind Direct. This is not sponsored by the way. Yeah, Blind Direct. And they offer, they, um, on the website I was able to get like free samples to see what color I really want for my room. Let me show you guys. So I picked out about four colors. 
four shades. They've all fallen on the floor. And I don't know, I wouldn't just go for like a cream or a beige. These actually look like all the same color, but they're all different. These are all quite similar shades, but I do think I like this shade. I'm gonna, I'm putting it up against my room, colors in my room to see what would go. It's between the plain cream or the origin blackout cream. You can't even tell the difference, so funny. <laughs> gonna go for this one, gonna now order it whilst I also edit videos. Let me go order these, this blind and um, start editing. See you in the city, looking all pretty, but I pretend you don't exist. See you in the city, looking all pretty, but I pretend you don't exist. Deleted your number, damn I wish I had it right about now. Deleted your number, girl. During quarantine, when um, the lockdown was at its height, it was really like dumps were closed, everything was closed down. So I had to pay a lot of money. I paid like 200, maybe 270 for, and that was like four trips for, um, it was like a junk company that would just come and take a lot of my junk and throw away. Cause I couldn't even give it to charities. I couldn't do anything. So I'd have to pay for people to, I'd put it all out in my front, the front garden. So they can now come and collect all the junk and remove it safely. M room makeover during quarantine was also another challenge because I couldn't go to like shops in Ikea. I couldn't get like inspiration. I couldn't go anywhere. So a lot of my work, a lot of the room makeup had to be like, Pinterest I would recommend Pinterest to anyone getting room inspiration yeah that was that was a long that was long but you know we pushed through that's cool that's cool we made it happen so the actual inspiration for my room I didn't know what vibe I wanted to go for and because I initially had the gold clothing rack which is actually a clothing rack from Ikea that I just spray painted gold like a year ago I was just like I looked at my clothes and I was just like this is actually my color palette this is these are like, like my favorite colors the creams the khaki the camel the blacks I was like, this is my vibe, so why not kind of make the room reflect the coats, which are like, I love coats, I love jackets. That's gonna be the color palette, that's gonna be the scheme, that's gonna be the vibe of the room. I've got a lot of woody tones, I've got a lot of whites and creams and like hints of green, hints of gold to kind of complement with a camel vibe. I had a lot more footage, but um, my memory card is damaged, so I can't even show you everything, but it's fine. I don't really want to show you guys too much anyway. We'll get straight into the room tour so you guys can see everything. And um, yeah, let's do that. Hello guys, and welcome to my beauty room. Come, 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 come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in. Let's close this door, shall we? Okay, might as well do a wardrobe. Let's do my wardrobe. I threw out a lot of clothes because so I'm trying to rebuild my wardrobe, so a lot of my clothes are gone, but anyway. Struggling? No, I have to just like it. My little walk in wardrobe. So. I'm here trying to figure out where is it I'm walking into because this is not a walk in wardrobe. Ma'am. Big cap. Oh my god, the way I can cap. These are all like my nice loungewear. So I've got my loungewear pieces here, here. Um, this is actually pajamas, but I really like them. I feel like the color palette. I don't know what vibe, maybe like creams and yellows and whites. And then here are my tracksuits that I wear, like a few of them. Um, I need some more tracksuits. I actually need some more tracksuits. We have tracksuits and my nice loungewear and stuff I wear in the house or when I'm going out. And then here we have my not so nice. It's my my ones that have gone a bit raggedy. So if they've gone a bit raggedy, like you know the t-shirt they used to wear all the time, then it just goes a bit off. So all here I've got jogging bottoms, tops, bottoms, all of that stuff. I shouldn't even tell you where I got these. And then I got these um little rails. I don't even know. They look like called. cages. Cages. Animal yeah. cages. Cruelty cages. This isn't about you. I'm sorry. Anywho, <laughs> I got these cages from Amazon. Um, someone actually recommended it to me on Twitter, uh, no, on Instagram, just because I don't know how I was going to fit everything in my room. I wanted to make everything as spacious and as a storage. 
English. Oui, for the As <laughs> I wanted to make sure my room had a lot of storage, like a lot. So I've got these, and I also have, you know, the IKEA zip bags. I have those under the bed, so I have them in another room for clothes that I don't wear as often. And then here we have this is a rack from. It's a clothing rack made in China. This is from Ikea, I believe. I think it was like seven pounds. Everything will be linked down below. And then I have all my jeans and I try to make sure they're in the color scheme. I try my best. And then I have some belts did on right. the side. Yeah, I did all right, didn't I? And then at the bottom is my black jogging bottoms. Um, and on the side, I've just got pouches and all that stuff. And then I've got my belts. And then we've got some of my clothes. So like I said, I've got the IKEA zip bag. That has a lot of my autumn and winter clothes right now, which I actually need to switch out. It's got jumpers and um, cardigans and all that stuff. I got my shoe wrap. If I'm being really honest, I didn't actually do a good job at this, but as long as I can keep the shoes and they're all level and I don't really care that much. Oh, at the back here, I've got these hooks that are already with the wardrobe, so I just put my robes back here. Cute. It's time to close it. Oh, my back camera is about to die. I need to charge it. So, I got two of these cupboards. Oh, no, chest of drawers. Chest of drawers, and they're matching. And one thing I really wanted to make sure that in this room, all the furniture is off the ground. So if you can see, on the chest of drawers and make sure that they're above the ground so then I can actually have more storage underneath as well as just making the room look a lot more spacious with everything off the ground yeah so with my room because I film do my makeup get ready it can get very messy so I try to make it seem as airy as possible so I got these two chest of drawers from um is it Mad Men? Mattress Man Mattress Man Mattress Man yeah both of these were Mattress Man. I don't think they were that cheap. I think both of them together cost like 300. But I need a storage, I need a space. In here, okay, we have these clothes. Oh, we can show them this row. <laughs> and then I got divided from Amazon as well. So these are just my tops and my jersey materials that I keep here. And then. These are like other trousers I've got. So these are like my creams and these are like my leather trousers. And then above here, um, we have a picture from Desenia. Um, I love line drawings and like silhouettes. So I went for this one and I think it fit like the vibe in the room. Like I said, everything is kind of in coordination with the colors of my coats. So make sure everything is like harmonious. And then I got this pamp Pampas grass from H&M as well as this vase from H&M. Is it Vars or Vase? Vars. You're not American. Vars. Anywho, and I got these candles from Zara. Never, never burnt them. I'm never going to burn them. I think this is hairy this vibe. It's hairy this vibe. <laughs> This what? This area, okay. this vibe. Okay. You know, got my candles, um, $7.99, $4.99. And then I just had this from a lid from another candle that I had, and I thought it went really well here. So, that, and then we've got a little trinkets bowl. Um, this is also from Zara. I just put stuff when I'm on the go. So, face mask, glasses, um, wallet. Wallet? No, my card holder. Keys, all of that stuff, it goes in there so when I'm out the door, it's quick. So yeah, that's that. Oh, and then I've got speakers. See, there's just so many speakers. So on to this side. Um, this is where I also store a lot of my makeup and skincare. I try to make sure that I don't I have I don't have too much space for makeup and skincare, so it always encourages me to do giveaways, do giftings and all that stuff. So make sure. I'm not hoarding anything, so I only keep what I really, really need. This bit isn't organised, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> makeup is always a messy. Anywho, um, I have, oh, I have this plant from John Lewis. I bought ninety-six pounds. It's ninety-six pounds. But when I got it, you know, you know, what it is with me. I'm so lazy when it comes to returns. So I'll just, I'll just make use of it. I just. Oh. This, this is an awful plan. What made you buy it at £96? What do you mean returns? I thought 
Do you know what it is? I thought it would, like the picture, I'm going to try to see if I can insert it. It made it look like it was going to look beautiful, but it's just very plastic. Very plastic. It's just so plastic. But yeah, I couldn't be bothered. And it's been hard finding a plant pot for this, but I bought one on May.com. But it's coming in two months, so it's going to be coming in October. I bought it in August. And then we have um, a candle from uh, Miss... Jackie Imer's brand, Forever Mood. We have a candle as well as another trinkets. This is a trinkets bowl. It just keeps my memory cards and stuff like that. And then another picture from Decenio. This mirror, actually, I still had it. This is from the very beginning. This is from when I even moved into this room. So I ain't got rid of it because I just like the shape. It's just really cool. It's like really cut out, very vintage, you know? And then I just got books and stuff and boring. How many have you read? This is a 360 daily journal, devotions journal. Uh, this one, I ain't read yet. This one, I've read, I read in bits, so it's not like something you need to read the whole bit. You go to, you know? And then Patricia Bright's book I've actually read, but I'm not a reader, anyway. So then here, we have my office space. So it's, it's like, to be honest, it's not like an office space, it's more like my filming space. So here we've got another uh, we've got a shelving unit. Um, I kind of wanted this for like more like background, more storage, and just make it look nice and stuff. So we've got a picture from Desenio. These are vases. <laughs> Where are they from? H and M. I bought these two when I was out about, and I saw them, and I was like, ah. Oh. And I really like the line drawing. I love line drawings. I've got a whole tattoo which is line drawing. Um, I like women's bodies. Whore. How how does that make me a whore? What does that make you? A whore times two. Right. And then I've got this little jewelry box, which I just keep all my hoop earrings. This isn't all of them because a lot of them I keep in my bags when I just take them off after a long day and I just forget to put them in here. And then we have um, this. What do you call this? Hourglass. Is it hourglass? I don't know. The timer? Shit. Yeah, which is 30 minutes. So I kind of like that instead of having a timer because timers usually give me anxiety sometimes. And then we've got some candles. This one is from, where is this one from? H&M. This one is from a black owned brand, if I can find the name, the Candle House. And then this was gifted to me. And then I've got something else to hold some of my earrings, my bigger ones. I'm glad I have this now because I used to, I've lost a lot of jewelry, a lot. And then in here is just where I keep just, camera and filming equipment, it's not that cute. Anywho. So then, you guys have seen this in my vlogs actually. This is just my setup. I've got my laptop here, my Kiomi mirror for when I do my makeup, makeup brushes. Underneath, I have water that I like to drink and my makeup and hair that I use on the go. So every day, what I reach to. Uh, you don't need to see all of that because that's messy. So focus, up, focus here, mate. Focus here. And then we've got filming equipment. Do you know what's really, really, I'm really happy about? Basically, I am gonna have my own separate filming room soon. So in a couple of months, I'm gonna have this room for fashion videos, and I'm gonna also do a whole another makeover on another room, which I'm very excited about. So we're gonna get part two, and that's gonna be strictly filming sit down videos. This room will be for like fashion videos and where I need to stand up and move about. I've spoken about the filming equipment I use in another vlog, so I will link that down below so I don't need to talk too much. But yeah, this is just some of my filming equipment. Ring light, LED light, camera. I've had this mirror for like, Almost two years now. I just kept it in the corner because didn't have anywhere. Then you've got this shelf. You guys have seen it before. It is really dark outside. The weather is awful. But yeah, I have my heels here, my nudes, my black heels that I go to a lot. I really like them. If you guys want a shoe collection, make sure you like this video so I know you guys want a shoe collection. Make sure you comment down below because I've got shoes in this room and I've got shoes downstairs. Downstairs is where I have my on-the-go trainers, like my trainers that I wear on the go. And up here is like my train my shoes that I reach for less. Alright, this these pictures are my graduation, the day I graduated. Um these are my three brothers, if you guys have never seen them. That's Lauren, that's David, that's Daniel. They're going to be so mad because they don't like being on camera. My whole family don't like being on camera, but anyway, these are my parents. It's my dad, it's my mom. They're going to be like, why did you include me? <laughs> They're going to be like, blur out my face. <laughs> but anyway, 
Um, we've got my YouTube plaque for getting 100,000 subscribers. One day we'll hit, hit a mil. Um, we've got this Buddha that I got gifted by my friend Yaren. So we've got that there. And then we've got some more perfume. I have a whole perfume collection, so we're not even going to go into that. So I've got some Zara. I've got a diffuser and a candle. I'd honestly say the diffuser is better than the candle. I 100% recommend. My English, yeah. This is why this is why I have like stage facts. I I I am a stutterer. I have speech impediment. Facts. Anywho. <sighs> yeah, like I was saying, the diffuser, um, the smell goes a longer way than the candle. The candle, I don't really be smelling it. Like I can smell it in oh. Oh. Break it. Okay, I lied. I do be smelling it in this room. Okay, never mind. Um, they both smell really good. I just think the diffuser still goes a long way. These are the ones I have. I have black vanilla in the candle and dark amber, and they smell amazing. And I've got another Desenio um, picture behind here. And I got this um, mirror tray. I believe this was from Zara. And this holds my perfumes, as well as I've got some candles from Femme Candles. And then we've got a little plant. I've had this since uni days. I think it's from Ikea. Another vase from <laughs> H&M. And uh, my favorite Jo Malone candle, which is, um, what, should, what is it again? Honey, honeysuckle and Divana. But actually, wait, no, they're like, they're like done. Jo Malone, we don't really be. Never mind, I'm just kind of, yeah, yeah. I love it. I'm like, no, no. nothing else, <laughs> <laughs> nothing to see here. <laughs> You paid for it. No, you put money in. You put money in their pockets. This was before everything. Disgusting. Happened. I support Joe Burger. I, I thought you were gonna say I support Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I support Joe anyway. Um, here is a shelf that Ade actually built as well as built. No, he installed for me as well as a clothing rack. I gave you a shout out in this video, by the way, for helping me with building basically everything. <laughs> So we've got some of my bags here. Um, I realized I need to have more colorful bags, but like my coats, I was like, I need to keep everything the same vibe. It needs to reflect, but you know. There's also, you know, you can also buy me some bags if you want to buy me some bags. I'm always open to the opportunity. <laughs> anyway, move back. <laughs> We've got my coats. I've done a coat haul, so these coats are all the same coats from my coat haul, so I will link the coat haul down below. And what I love about this, this clothing rack is it's above the ground, so I've got space at the bottom. I actually ordered um, storage boxes, like really cute ones from May.com. Once again, they're gonna come in November and I ordered them in August. Um, it's gonna go right there. I'm gonna set the picture of what it's gonna look like in that corner. But yeah, I love it. People always ask where this plant is from. This plant is from Ikea. I got this like two years ago. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about my desk. This is actually from Amazon and it's 65 pounds. I really hope it's still in stock because I love this desk. Like, oh, let me see if I can really try and explain it to you guys. But this table like swivels all the way around. If I wanted to have it all the way out there, I could. could. If I wanted to have it all the way here, it can do like a roll. I think it's like, is it 180 or 360? 180. 180. But yeah, that's basically everything. You gotta go. You gotta go. I'm done. Gotta get out of here. I'll see you guys next time for when I do my filming room, when I redecorate that. But anyway, thank you. Get out. Bye. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Bye. 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 Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know your thoughts. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.